who's passed on, who's still with us, who lives on in the collective consciousness. Gret Quinn has never stopped working in the dark room of the Edward Quinn archive. In her hands, stars and supporting cast make a constant comeback. Damn. Brigitte Bardot, 1952. Unknown, 18 years old. No longer a minor under French law. It wasn't really a realistic time. It was all a bit nicer than it really was. You know, people were euphoric. And everything seemed to be all right. Life after the war could only be better, and uh, people were much more, you know, full of optimism, and then they posed quietly and were all available. One could approach them. The whole atmosphere was a little bit like that, not quite realistic in a way when I think about it. Edward Quinn notes, wherever Brigitte Bardot appeared, she was instantly the center of attention and the subject of headlines. But she soon discovered the dark side of stardom. People stopped on the street and loudly criticized her. When I wear perfectly ordinary clothes, Brigitte moaned, they call me a hussy. When I'm elegant, they say, it's a pose. They think I'm not as pretty as in my movies, too thin, too old too risque. She simply couldn't understand why people were constantly criticizing her. Obviously, uh, Bridget Bardo started as a pin-up, and one, uh, she fell into that category uh, because I met her when she was, let's say, uh, just beginning in the cinema. She had gone to take dance lessons mm -hmm. and had also been in the corps of ballet for a little while at Paris Opera. So she was able to uh, pose very well. But then, of course, her life went on from there, and uh, she met Roshi Vadim, who was a great star maker himself. You know, he he was a great man for shaping young girls into into stars. Vadim having his own photo documentation of his wife at the time, and Bridget posing very nicely for both of us. She's looking at me, and then Vadim is taking the picture. Edward Quinn takes pictures on the set of And God Created Woman, while Bardot creates headlines the world over. The Rivera magazine writes that in the Disco Gogo -Go in Nice's Central Bar, dancing the cha-cha-cha will still be allowed, despite objections from the rock and rollers.
she really became world famous with the film Adieu que la femme. I had phoned very often at the studio de la Victor in, in Nice uh, to find out was there an interesting film coming. So he was, he, he knew when it was worthwhile going there. So during that time, Dieu Créa La Femme, he practically went there every day. The film causes a scandal. All it took was a hint of nudity and becomes a box office hit, even in the United States. And Brigitte Bardot a label, BB, or as the French say, Bebe. some of the Mambo photos in the Matra office here. If you have any even more exciting ones, also anything showing Bardo in other provocative attitudes or stages of undress, please send it along. Fawcett wants to have a choice and will pay those it takes. Return the others promptly. If for some reason you cannot oblige, please let me know. Best regards, George Harold.